Alrighty, so today we're doing something that's kind of cool, actually. I really like this concept. This guy hit me up on Twitter, asked if he would, if I would want a roster like this. And this is actually a roster that I've been wanting for some time. I've seen some people do it in 2K. I've seen some people do it in FIFA. That's where I get a lot of my inspiration for videos from. And it's actually a really cool idea. It is flipping the attributes or flipping the ratings of players like this is oh man i've been waiting for a roster like this for some time and i hope you guys do enjoy it what we're gonna do is we're gonna sim a season see what happens with this team when you flip their attributes and then we'll 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 see how or what we do from there but i thought this was really cool i hope you guys do enjoy it as well if you do hit that thumbs up down below consider subscribing to the channel if you do enjoy the content and you're not subscribed already also click that bell icon to be notified whenever a video does go live and of course, go in the comment section and let me know any future video ideas you would like to see. And if you guys do create rosters, let me know the name of the roster in the comment section. And I'll definitely try to do it for a future video. I'm always on the lookout for new, new rosters. So if you guys want to create a roster or anything like that, let me know what the name is down below. That's really about it, guys. We'll keep it short, sweet, to the point. And here we go. So today's roster is where to go. I just had it. 40 man reds inverted attributes the name is there as well like i said this guy reached out to me on twitter and i was like yeah we're gonna we're gonna use this roster so he did the reds so basically what happens if a guy had like 94 contact he's actually gonna have 49 contact now and it'd be really cool to have it with the entire league only the reds obviously this is gonna take up a lot of time so for him to take the time out of his day to do this i'm already thankful enough um but yeah, let's get into it. Let's take a look at the roster and let's see how it looks. So before we get any further into the video, let me tell you about my second channel. The link will be in the description, of course. I'll even put it in the pinned comment. Um, basically, I wanted to start a second channel for like if we play other games on stream, if I play any other games. So like I've been playing a lot of Fall Guys, playing a lot of Call of Duty. So basically, if I have like any other games that just aren't MLB The Show related and you guys want to see some of that hop over to the other channel like i said links will be in the description and also in the pinned comment go check it out today there will be a video being uploaded of like some of the fall guys highlights that i've had from past stream and if you guys enjoy it make sure you hit the like button subscribe to that channel and then in the comment section let me know future games you would like to see on the channel it can be madden fifa whatever else you can think of let me know what you guys want to see but i just want to give a quick shout out to that channel go check it out so with this like i said it would be really cool if we could have the whole league because then it would give a better representation of like how this would really play into effect with one team you kind of get like a small sample size but i still think it's pretty cool we'll see how it affects like the nl central how it affects the reds how it affects some of these players and their ratings and things like that if one of you guys want to take the time out of your day to like change every single player's contact stats on the 40 man roster you know and like flip them dude i'd be super appreciative of that or like pitching stats or anything like that like i said i don't expect you guys to make me rosters like that's just something extra that if you want to take the time out of the day to do it and let me know that you did that that'd be awesome but of course this is awesome i really appreciate the time this guy has done i it had to have taken a crazy amount of time and uh for him to do that for me in such a quick time too i think he did this in like a day really thankful but let's let's take a look at these uh these rating adjustments so you guys can see as we go through the 40 man so like i said we're gonna sim a season see how it goes you can see how the ratings have definitely changed and kind of flipped here and there but i think it's gonna be interesting to see how much these overalls are affected and how it does affect the players a lot of them have really low contact some fielding stats have changed pitchers some stats have gotten better some have gotten worse and i think any team that comes up against us is probably gonna have a pretty good a pretty good game you know some of our best players have already dropped down pretty low like joey Votto is a 63 you've got amir garrett down here shogo akiyama pedro strope eugenio suarez is a 58 sorry i kind of skipped through these guys kind of quickly but um wow we are uh we're looking like a pretty bad team 58 for suarez that's crazy that's crazy um trevor bowers of 53 what up desclafani robert stevenson luis castillo are down here so like all right let's uh let's add him to the mlb roster let's kind of get like the normal mlb squad together here who's someone that normally doesn't get they're usually sent to triple a 
and then maybe who is one that I normally don't see Brantley Bell who who, who are you all right so that's the team and uh, let's take a look see how this um, kind of works now so Luis Castillo's there Desclafani steps in for what Antone maybe Luis Castillo man man Luis Castillo got destroyed with the ratings and uh, we'll leave those two there we'll go Rizel right there and we'll kind of rock like this for the team but again as you can see the ratings or this the attributes i should say wow we got destroyed that's crazy that's crazy so of course obviously a lot of high rated players are gonna drop you know if you have low rated stats they'll, they'll probably go up as well but um i mean this is insane i'm totally expecting like the cubs the cardinals pirates and all them the brewers to just have a field day when they play us because i mean look at this team this is this is some rough stuff for sure so um we'll see how they do though because there's a couple players that have some pretty good stats like jankowski's got power through the roof it's just the contact and the vision's pretty low it's like a joey gallo type situation who knows they might pop off i'm, I'm kind of interested to see how that goes we are currently ranked 30th so we're pretty bad um, so let's simulate the season. We'll see how it goes. We'll compare ourselves to the rest of the league and we'll just go from there. I'm expecting, uh, I'm gonna guess 24 wins. I'm being generous there. I'm thinking 24 wins. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season. I thought this was a really cool idea. I'm actually really excited to see how this plays out and uh, I'll see you guys at the end of it. I'm not gonna lie. We actually did better than expected. Like 53 and 109. That's uh, eight. That was like, what, double what I expected? A little bit over double what I expected? Okay. We even got an award. Oh. You guys can see the Cubs. Okay. So maybe maybe they didn't do as well as I would have thought. Like, the Central. I mean, it's actually pretty competitive. Like, even the Pirates won 81 games. And you know that doesn't happen often. So we uh, we look at the rest of the league. And you guys can see who, who won the divisions and everything. Like, the wild cards and things like that. So... Okay, there's that. We'll take a look at league leaders. You can see that there's a there's some there's some central players there for sure, and uh, that's pretty interesting. And let's take a look at the rest for hits. You got a Cub, a Pirate, a Brewer up there. So that's kind of expected. Is that Jake Cronenworth up there for hits? Oh no, at bats. I mean, he's actually having a pretty good like rookie season. Um, I know he came from the Rays to the Padres in the Tommy Pham deal. I believe that's what it was and uh i mean he's he's looking like a, a pretty solid piece for the padres right now so we won a gold glove for shogo akiyama chris bryant won mvp with christian yelich right behind him i wonder how many of those home runs were against us you guys could see the rest of the league as we go through it andrew heaney in the mix for cy young interesting and then scherzer beat out clayton kershaw which is interesting with those stats right there i don't i don't know about that i'm not too sure about that one so that's uh hmm, question marks going around there jay cronenworth rookie of the year and Sutsugo winning out so akiyama unfortunately just just got denied so before we look at our team let's go look at the the rest of the league and see kind of how everyone performed because i'm assuming like the eras and stuff are going to be pretty good since you know you you play the divisional opponents more than the rest of the league and um i'm actually kind of more interested in the the offensive stats so let's just forgot forget we even did that and let's go look at the the offensive stats for some players and see if like anybody just kind of popped off more so than expected like and mundo sosa he did pretty well and then looking around at the rest of the team you know paul goldschmidt really had a like a really good year um Maybe the Cardinals just kind of suck. I don't know. Dexter Fowler popping off. Okay. Interesting. You know, the Pirates, I said they won 81 games, which was mind-blowing. Kevin Newman had a good year. Frazier, Reynolds, Josh Bell. Colin Moran was pretty solid. Polanco, Kevin Kramer. Okay. So, I mean, they actually had a pretty good year. Like, that team actually did really well. That's surprising to me because a lot of the time, the Pirates players are kind of on the miss end rather than the hit end and uh, sometimes they do well but for the most part you usually expect kind of lower stats i mean the brewers they've kind of got a glitchy lineup as well everybody looks like they had a, a pretty pretty solid season i'm not gonna look at us just yet 
Looking at the Cubs, I mean, Steven Souza or Souza, I think it's Souza. He had a pretty good year. Baez, you got Hayward. Chris Bryant was MVP, so I mean, he put up unbelievable numbers. You got Wilson, Anthony Rizzo, Schwarber, Ian Happ, David Bodie, Jason Kipnis. I mean, Ian Happ's putting up some really good numbers in real life as well. So now it's time to look at our terrible team, see how everything went. Cody Reed, eh. You know, Luis Castillo, absolutely terrible. Same with Pedro Strope. You got Nate Jones, Amir Garrett, Rizelli. Oh, wow. Rizelli, Glacius, yikes. Matt Bowman, and then Michael Lorenzen. So everybody was pretty bad. Pretty bad. I mean, like, look at Michael Lorenzen's attributes. The clutch is low, control. He has no velocity. But, like, his per nines are actually pretty good. It's just, you know, the rest aren't that great sunny gray actually has some pretty good per nines and everything just not the best of performance wade miley i mean the the home runs per nine are pretty low same with stamina so maybe like a long relief spot might be a good spot for him uh what a tj antone who in real life actually looks pretty good for the reds like he actually looks like he could be a, a like a good long relief arm or maybe like that sixth man in the rotation he actually looks like a pretty good arm for them anthony desclafani was pretty bad I mean, his stats are pretty bad. Trevor Bauer, same thing. He looks absolutely terrible. And uh, we're back to the top of the rotation. All right. The fun stuff. Offense. Aquino. Oof. Oof. We've got Tucker Barnhart, who has got some pop versus lefties, some good contact versus lefties as well. So he actually, 31 games, almost a 300 average. Had a pretty good season. Uh, Tyler Stevenson, no appearances. Alex Blandino. And then we're back to Aquino. So looking at Suarez, you can see his stats there. I mean, he hit 266. Yeah, the OPS is pretty low. I mean, he has no power at all. But that's a that's an okay year. I'll I'll take that. You know, Joey Votto hit 18 home runs. I would assume most of them were versus righties since he has no contact versus lefties. But um, there's that. Nicholas Castellanos actually pretty disappointing. Like pretty disappointing wow that was that's bad uh jesse winker 30 home runs wow okay i mean that power numbers through the roof same with the vision and discipline um contact non-existent but okay that's a pretty good year same with shogo akiyama 27 home runs he's definitely got some pop in the bat what do we got mustakis pretty sure all of his home runs are going to come against righties there's no way he's hitting lefties he just forgot how to hit lefties kirk casali pretty solid season and then freddie galvis actually wasn't too bad with how bad his hitting stats are like that's that's decent and travis jankowski had a 307 on base percentage with a 219 average okay 27 home runs though like I, that's like uh those are like joey gallo numbers you know like that's not terrible like that's that's not bad at all so um i'm actually kind of interested to see if potential was touched as well so let me go to like nicholas castellanos because i saw that his his potential arrow was going down so no potential was kind of left the same so okay i was just wondering because the arrow was pointed down so i mean let's take a look at our team stats because i just want to see where we rank all right so 30th with average makes sense at bats i don't care about runs 28th hits last okay uh doubles last triples last home runs we weren't last with home runs we were 25th runs batted in we were 28th and then stolen bases where are we up there in stolen bases hold on we're fourth with stolen bases no way i didn't even realize eugenio suarez had 28 and vado had 25 and mustakis with 16 stolen bases what that's insane hold on we gotta let me check that again with 13 speed he had 28 stolen bases huh Joey Votto's got crazy speed, 71. So, like, that makes sense that he had 25. But what about Moustakis? 81 speed? Okay. I mean, but Eugenio Suarez, 13 speed, and he had 28 stolen bases. That is that is wild. Absolutely wild. I did not, did not expect that at all. So, I think there was one more thing I wanted to look at, and I don't remember what it was after I, I saw the, the team rankings. It was something here, it like 
sparked something in my brain. Oh, I wanted to see if we were last in baseball. I guess we should do that. No, the Mariners were worse than us. So we weren't the worst team in baseball. I think that's a win. I'm going to leave it there. I mean, it, it's a little goofy video. I mean, we could have made it a rebuild. We could have done something else. But if I make it a rebuild, I'm just going to get rid of everybody. And I feel like that kind of takes away from the video. Um, like I said, if it was the entire league where like maybe just the, the hitting stats were changed, I think that would be kind of a cool concept. Or if you did like the pitching stat, like the per nines of the pitchers and just flip those, I think that'd be kind of cool too. Like, like I said, I don't expect you guys to make me rosters at all. If you guys want to do it, of course, just send me, you know, what the name is or like your username and I can definitely look it up in the roster vault. Like I said, this guy, he took the time out of his day to do this and I can't thank him enough. So go check it out if you guys want to, you know, check it out for or just go to the roster vault if you want to check it out for yourselves. And I hope you did enjoy today's video. Like I said, it was a little goofy one. It was something a little bit different, something that I wanted to try for quite some time and i hope you did enjoy it if you did consider hitting that like button down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content and of course guys uh leave what was i gonna say leave video ideas in the comment section down below i'm gonna leave you with two videos on screen now go and check them out if you haven't yet and that's it i'll catch you all in the next one peace